Houston. Some of the old ladies had a look of like mild disappointment, you know, just sitting there like. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. We got one of your favorites again today. It's Billy Boy, Billy Burr. Whoop, whoop. And we got, you said hair. He's got hair on his <laughs> the head. Hair Bill, Bill that Burr. Means it's a throwback. Yeah, it's a little bit of a throwback then. And uh, we've been having a great time doing Bill so far. Thank you guys so much for all yeah, the support on those videos as well. He kills me. Yeah, every time you guys come through and uh, support those videos, I think it's because Bill is hilarious and you enjoy watching us just unable to control ourselves to Bill's great comedy. So yes. um, I have a, have a lot of comedy on the channel now, and if you haven't subscribed, you should probably think about doing that and uh, checking out that other comedy because we try to have some great stuff on there for you guys to enjoy yeah, there's with us. variety now. Yeah, and um, we're trying to build this channel into something special, and you guys are helping us do that. So thank you so much, guys. We are really grateful for all the support, but all the suggestions, especially with oh, Bill yeah. Burr, you taking us down this journey. Like we, down the rabbit hole. Yeah, we, we would have no idea idea where to start and we would have never been exposed to any of this stuff and you guys have allowed us to you know really enjoy Bill's stand up yeah. and, and other comedians like Patrice O'Neill who is you know basically linked with Bill Burr um, similar styles a little yeah, bit as well that kills me. Uh, so yeah so thank you so much guys really do appreciate it but with that said we got a, a different one that we haven't done before today called old people again another recommendation from you guys so um, so we'll, we'll see what it's all about and go from there. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Like I mentioned, I'm 41 years old. And if I'm lucky, you know what I realize? I'm halfway through my shit right now. I'm halfway through my life. So, you know, I'm getting nervous, you know, about dying, you know, just growing old, man. I was never really nervous about it until I got to this age. And, uh, you know, you know what it was? I went to my grandmother's 100 year birthday party. And I quickly realized that women age a lot better towards the end, you know? Guys, we hang with them in the beginning because we're young, and then in the middle they're having kids, so we kind of pass them, but that end, that last third, we're like the stock market. We just, we just go right down <laughs> the ground. It's brutal. I went to this party, all the old ladies there were unbelievably shocked. They were still playing cards, they were right there. But some of the old dudes, man, they, they were brutal. You know, you ever see a guy like so old, he has like that permanent look of horror on his face? <laughs> You know what I mean? A couple guys walk in, they look okay, how you doing? And then there's always that one guy just comes walking in just like... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, even when they're sitting down meeting people, and this is my grandson, Bill! <laughs> It's like, dude, how much pain are you in that you constantly have a look on your face like that chick from the ring just crawled out of your TV set? <laughs> dude, that's gotta be, you're like so old, like everything hurts. You're just standing up, you're like, ah, my feet! You go to lean on something, ah, my ah! <laughs> Even like blinking, like air hurts, here! Yeah! I don't know why, but this one I'm like, I shouldn't be laughing at it. I know, it almost feels like mean. <laughs> I, I like this is the first time though I've really felt that way. All the other stuff that he's done, yeah. I've been like, yeah, whatever, he's just making a joke. And I know he's just making a joke at the yeah, same yeah. time, but it's just like that innate feeling I have. Like, don't like make fun of old people. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? But sure. that's why he's doing it. It's precisely the reason yeah, why he's doing says, it. Yeah, everybody says, like, be nice to the old people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's just like I said, it's the first time I've had that, like, I'm not supposed to laugh Shoot, at this. You shouldn't be laughing at this. <laughs> yeah. Even, like, blinking, like, air hurts. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, fucking kill me. Kill me if I ever end up like that. <laughs> Dude, I'll fucking kill myself. I'll rock myself down a flight of stairs. <laughs> I'll lean back, hit my head on a sink. Whatever I gotta do. I told you, I already think about killing myself twice a week at this age. There is no fucking way I'm going out like that. At the end of my life, I'm walking around. <laughs> and everyone else has that panic. Oh, fuck, is it going down? Look on their face. I don't know how you do it. How do you wake up every morning brushing your teeth? How do you fight the urge to not just jam that toothbrush right down your throat? I'll tell you what kills me was only the old guys had that look on their face. None of the old ladies did. Some of the old ladies had a look of like mild disappointment, you know, just sitting there like. <laughs> you know, like they always wanted to go to Europe, but they never got around to it. <laughs> But only the old guys had like that. <laughs> Dude, it was almost like they wanted to tell you a secret. Like, where's the gold? 
Can you remember the combination? <laughs> what is that? Somebody said it's like a mild form of dementia. Or, you, know, you know what I think it's from? I think it's from being married for 60 years, getting nagged every day, and never once looking at your wife being like, you know what, how about you shut the fuck up? <laughs> hey, I got it, you're not happy. You know, well then fucking leave! <laughs> Is it that or do they like wear you down? I think they wear you down. Because I know as a young man, I had a lot more spring in my step. Young guys, your girl gives you shit, you know? You go for a drive. Where's this relationship going? This feels weird, we need to talk. And hey, fuck you, lady! You get in the car, you go for a drive. Punch the ceiling a couple times. You scream out the window, bitch! <laughs> you get it out. You get it out before your face gets all twisted up. Get it out. What happens? You stay in the relationship. You stay in the relationship, right? You get married 15 years later, you got a couple of kids, you got a little gut going, right? She starts in well on you with that whole laundry list of stuff you gotta do because you're married. Susie has ballet practice, it gets over at two. Make sure you're there at two. You were there at two at two the other day, and she's very upset. No, you were. <coughs> you were. I actually documented the record on my Facebook page. And you want to give her an uppercut. You want to give her an uppercut. No, it's a natural thought. It's a natural thought. But you don't, you never lead with an uppercut. You set it up with a jab, you get inside, you come right up through the cleavage, you rock that head back, you set it right across the oh line. Take that dirty pistol out, you lay it next to it. <laughs> Wipe off the door handle, I'm fucking with you. How you don't? <laughs> How you, don't? you never hit a woman, you should never hit a woman. You're gonna get caught, you're gonna go to jail, you're gonna get raped, it's off. You don't, you don't do that. <laughs> But what do you do now? What are you gonna do now, right? You're married, right? You can't yell because your kids are there. You can't go for a drive. You don't have a cool car anymore. You got like some caravan with those sticky children of the corn handprints all over the windshield. So what do you do? You go down in the basement, you just do like that whisper yelling. <laughs> and then I think just one day, you, you're just too old. You're just too old. You're tired. You've been married like 60 years. Your body's breaking down. You blew your knee out at the Y playing pickup ball like 30 years earlier in the 50 and older league, you know? And you just wanna watch the game. And she comes in that one last time, right? Just to annoy you, yeah, just picking on you. Yeah, you always mean to my mother and I always resented you for her. Why can't you bet more on your brother, right? <laughs> and you start thinking, you know what, fuck this, I'm not listening to this, right? And you go to get up. And that's when it hits you that the day before was the last day you had the quad strength to get up and out of your favorite chair. And that's when the panic sets in. You're like, oh shit. Dude, I can't get up. Oh my God. I gotta listen to this for the rest of my life. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. People don't realize those old guys are actually trying to escape. That's what they're doing. Like, is she looking? Am I gonna make it? Avenge me! Listen, I'm out of time. You guys were awesome. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's the classic bill there of like building and building and building the, yeah. the story. And, yeah. you know, I like how he also in this one kind of introduced it first and then, you know, built the story and then came back to the punchline. And yeah. I, and, yeah, and, you know, like you said in the beginning, we were like, oh, like you kind of feel like awkward a little bit in some respects. But, you know, he just finds a way every time to make you relax and enjoy the comedic yeah. side of it. And yeah. that's the way it should be. I'm right? not going to lie. Like, I feel like in the beginning of everyone, I'm like, oh, crap, where, where are we, we going? going with this? <laughs> and then by the end of it, I'm like, okay, he's funny. But. Yeah. I mean, I like I said, I, I think for this one, I was just, it's that just that feeling, I think, in culture sometimes where it's like, respect your elders, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh-oh. <laughs> you know, it's like your brain's like, uh-oh. Yeah. It's like, no, no, it's just a comedy routine. You can, you can enjoy it, right? Yeah. And he does a great job, like I said, every time of allowing you just to, you know, have a good time. That's what I really, really yeah. enjoy about his stuff. For sure. He's like talking about the old ladies being sharp and thinking of my like 84-year-old grandma <laughs> playing like lawn bowling, going out with the girls, I playing know. bingo in cars. Like, that's exactly her. And that's the thing too, right? Like there's a lot of truth in yeah. what he's saying yeah. and that you're like, that's what you makes you think about it and you're like, uh-oh, I'm laughing at grandma. <laughs> like, you know? Right? Or like when they're talking about the old lady being like, I was like dying. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was great. great. Yeah, I really enjoyed that one from Bill. That was another good one. As usual, like I said, he's got great yeah, he stuff. So it. That's pretty usual. I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to that one. And uh, if you did, hit that like button for us. You guys know what to do. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't done so. All that good stuff that we really, really appreciate. But uh, that's it from us today, yeah. guys. We'll be back soon with another one. So come back soon. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care.